Hi everyone, it's Lindy. So here is another video about everything that I sold over the week. I just put together some clips that I did right before I packaged up some items to send them out over the course of the week. So sales were back up. They weren't normal, but they were back up from last week. So let's see what I sold. All right, you guys, so it's Sunday night. I am packaging some stuff that sold this weekend uh, because tomorrow morning is Monday morning and I'm not really gonna wanna do all the packaging in the morning because after my kiddos are out of the house and in their programs and school and everything, I'm gonna be outsourcing. So I wanna get as much packaging done as I can tonight. But I wanted to show you a few of the things that sold in the last couple of days over the weekend that were worthy of mentioning because the profits were pretty good. So, all right, I have seven things to show you guys. Okay, so the first one is the Luden's Cough Drops. You probably recognize these from the retail arbitrage video that I did a couple of weeks ago. So I'm sold out. I'm completely sold out. I ended up buying these from a local coupon lady for two bags for a dollar. They're normally a dollar fifty in the store, but this is a new flavor. And I sold, so I paid two dollars for all four of these bags, two bucks. And they are going to ship for about three fifty. They weigh about 14 or 14 ounces, I think, when I weighed them. Uh, someone bought them for $13.49 with free shipping. So after fees, product cost, and shipping, my total profit is $6.08. $6.08 profit. That is quadruple my money back in profits. That is awesome. But now I'm out. There's no more cough drops. I'm sad. That's okay. There's more stuff. There's always more stuff. The next thing... So I'm really far behind the curve. Uh, you probably saw this in a Dollar General clearance haul that I did a couple of weeks ago. I finally just got around to listing it like two or three days ago. Well, it sold in only two or three days. Um, I had paid 60 cents for it. It was one of those 70% off clearance and then 50% off of that and then 50% off of that. So I ended up getting it for 60 cents and it sold for $6.79 with free shipping, which does not sound like a lot, but after shipping, it's only gonna be $2.60 to ship. After shipping fees and the 60 cents that I spent buying it, my total profit is $2.49, which sounds piddly, but I have to stress how darn fast I listed this. It was so lickety split, it was just it, it was, I just had a pile of stuff and I was just like trucking along through it. It was just like picture, snap, picture, snap, barcode, nah, 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 list. It took me no more, I'm not even joking. I'm not kidding. It took me no more than two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes to list this. And it's gonna take me hardly any time to ship it either. I'm just gonna put it in a bag in a clear bag to make sure that it doesn't leak everywhere. Wrap it a couple of times in bubble wrap and drop it in a poly bag. It's gonna take me maybe two minutes to ship. So five minutes total of my time and I made 250. So it's just, it's easy peasy money. And let's see, that's four times quadruple my money. And yeah, I only spent 60 cents, but huh, quadrupling your money is pretty good. So sold that. This, I have a confession. Remember how I said I hate best offer? Well, I got enough of you guys commenting that I should try best offer that I went ahead and tried it. This is a shirt I had never seen the brand before, SGR. It's a men's brand. Come to find out it sells fairly well, right? So I listed it last night. This sold in 12 hours, 12 hours. So I listed it for $14.99 or best offer, and I did the whole autom the automatic thing. I put it to decline offers below $11 and accept all offers above like 
$12.50, I think it was. Well, somebody threw out a best offer for $12.99, and so it automatically accepted. So someone bought this for $12.99. It's really light. It's only going to cost me $2.60 to ship. I paid $2 for it at Goodwill. So after fees, shipping, product cost, my total profit on this is $6.54 which is triple my money back in profit. $2 into $6.50. Woo, I like it when that happens. Woo, don't drop it. Okay, this next one, this is actually a shirt that I got at a garage sale. I paid only a dollar for it. It is Laura Ashley and it's a size medium. And it's a really nice tank. It has this really awesome cowl, scoop neck, whatever you wanna call it. And it's got these really nice studs all over it, you can see. So it's a really nice tank. And it sold for $11.99. And I paid a dollar for it. It's only going to cost $2.60 to ship. It's really light. So after shipping, fees, and my dollar cost, my total profit is $6.66. Which is almost seven times my money back. I like that. So, this, more jeans, I love jeans, sold in, I want to say two days, maybe three days, but they are the Levi's Bootcut 515, and they are size 10 long, I love those special inseams, 10 long. Levi's and they sold for $15.79 and I paid $2 for them with a 50% off tag at Goodwill. So they're going to ship in a first class, uh, not a first class, <sighs> they're going to ship in a flat rate priority envelope for $5.60. So after product cost, fees, and shipping, my total profit on the $15.79 sale is $6 and one penny, which is triple my money back in profit. I love triple profits. And then the last two things were scrub tops. I'm telling you guys, scrub tops are where it's at. I know a lot of people say that, you know, the eBay market is flooded with scrub tops, but they still sell. There are so many people out there that are in uniform professions, you know, vet techs, nurses, people, just, there's so many people that wear scrub tops. So I know that everybody says that the market is flooded and there are a lot of scrub tops out there. Oh, there's a lot listed, but they're still selling. They're still selling because there's so many people looking for scrub tops because they're so expensive to buy new. So there's this one. It's just a HQ scrub and it's a size... See, it's a size extra small. Remember how I told you guys that for me, it really doesn't matter if scrubs are a bigger size or a smaller size because I love bigger sizes, but this is an extra small and it's still sold in uh, maybe a month. Maybe a month is how long it took me. I think it was about a month, but it's still sold. It sold for $10.79 and that was with free shipping and I paid $2 for it. And so after fees, Shipping and product cost. My total profit is four dollars and sixty-one cents, which is uh, almost two and a half times my money back in profit. That exact same deal was for this scrub top here. This one is a size extra large, so I sold one extra small, one extra large. This one is a really, really nice one. It's got some dolphins on it. It's all tropical. It's a really nice color. There's nothing fancy about it. These, both of these scrub tops are really, really plain. That's why I had them only listed for $10.79. If there was anything special about them, like buttons or extra pockets or cinching or tie backs or anything like that, I would have had them for a dollar or two higher. But they're just plain. There's nothing, there's no ties, nothing fancy on them. So $10.79 is what this one went for also. Both of these scrub tops are going to ship for $2.60 because they're light enough. And so, same deal with this one. $10.79 sale, after fees, shipping, and product costs, my profit is $4.61, which is almost two and a half times my money back in profit. So, 
that's what I got to show you. I'm going to go package everything up. So we'll see what else we sell this week. Hi everybody. Okay, so sales are still down, but there was a couple of things that sold that um, I wanted to mention. So the first thing is three bottles of Pantene. They are the Classic Clean, and they are a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. I have purchased these from uh, one of my local coupon ladies, and I bought three for two dollars. So I paid, you know, what, sixty-six cents a piece, roughly seventy cents a piece. So two dollars for three. I had them listed for twelve ninety-nine. They will need to go priority, so I'm going to stick them in a padded flat rate. And how I'm going to ship them is I'm just going to wrap them individually in clear wrap, and then I'm going to just tape it down really good in the bag so that way if there's any leakage, if this pops open or anything, it's hopefully sealed up tight enough. Um, and if there's any leakage, then it only gets on the single bottle, not the entire package. Um, and then of course I'm going to add extra bubble wrap in there and stick a fragile sticker on it. So the purchase price was $12.99 with free shipping. After my shipping cost fees and product cost, my total profit on these is going to be $3.24, which is just a little over a bottle, a dollar a bottle in profit, which isn't fantastic, but this is something that you know, I had a lot of them. I was able to do multiple quantity listing and just let it roll. So I like that kind of stuff because, yeah, it only made, you know, $3 profit this time, but then it's going to sell again, and then it's going to sell again, and then it's going to sell again. And so it just keeps racking up, and I don't have to do any extra work. The listing is already up. It's already made. So I love listings like that. That's one reason why I really love retail arbitrage on eBay. And then I only have one other thing to show you. Hopefully I have more tomorrow. But these are Yes to Mineral Oil. And they are the Primrose Lip Oil. These were, I got these at Walmart on clearance for only a dollar each. So $2 for both. The normal price is like between six and eight dollars, I think. So I listed them for $12.99. I couldn't really find any comparable sold, so I just kind of went off the regular store price and priced them that way. It's only gonna cost $2.60 to ship them because they're super light. Um, so $12.99 with free shipping. After my $2 product cost, $2.60 shipping and fees, my total profit on these is $6.54. So $2 into $6.54, which is more than triple my money back in profit. So that's awesome. And I have a couple more of these. They're not the Primrose, they're different. We'll see how long they take to sell. They were only listed for a few days. So always be on the lookout for stuff like lip oil. Stuff's a really hot seller. Hi, good morning everybody. It's Thursday morning and my sales are going back up, up, up. So that's really exciting. So I actually have seven things to show you today that were worthy of mentioning that sold. Um, the first is Aussie Shampoo and Conditioner. They're the really large size with the pump. And they sold for $19.99 with free shipping. And I paid $5 for both of them from a local coupon lady. So it cost me $5 for both. Um, I'm going to send them in a padded flat rate. I'm just going to individually wrap these and tape them up really good and then put some bubble wrap and some cardboard inside of the padded flat rate to keep them protected. So they're going to ship for $5.90. So after fees, product cost, and shipping, the total profit on my five dollar, I'm sorry, the total profit on my $19.99 sale is six dollars and forty-one cents, which is a little over double my money. Alright, the next thing was 
two boxes of children's triaminic daytime cold and cough syrup. These sold both of them for $11.49 with free shipping. I actually purchased these at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree um, a few months ago had a whole bunch of them. So I paid a dollar each and then it's going to cost about $3.55 to ship. And so after shipping fees and product cost, my total profit on the $11.49 sale is $4.27, which is more than uh, double my money back in profit. And then I sold what was left of my lip oil, more lip oil. This one's not the same as earlier in the week. This is the Argon lip oil. It's not the Primrose, but it's the same kind of a deal. Um, I paid a dollar for each at Walmart on clearance. They sold both of them for $12.99 with free shipping. Um, after fees, shipping, and they're only going to cost $2.60 to ship. Um, my total profit was $6.51 on a $2 purchase, which is triple my money back in profit. But now I'm all out of lip oil. So you guys, look for lip oil. It sold really fast for me. I sold, you know, I mean, I only had four but I sold all four within a week. So I made almost $15 in profit just from those in one week. The next thing is Biore nose strips. I got these from a local coupon lady as well. I got all three boxes for $5. And I sold the three boxes for $17.99 with free shipping. It's only gonna cost $2.60 to ship because these are ultra light. Um, and then let's see. So my total profit on $17.99 sale after fees, product costs, and shipping was $7.95, which is about two and a half times my money back in profits, a little more than that. So almost eight bucks profit on these. Then These women's silver jeans. They are the classic boyfriend and they are a size 14 with a 29 length. And they're a really nice like acid wash jean and they've got some distressing on them. I paid $5 for these at a garage sale and I'm going to mail them in a regular flat rate envelope or a legal flat rate envelope for $5.60. So, um, and I sold them for $24.79 with free shipping. So after my product cost, fees, and shipping, my total profit is $10.94, which is a little over double my money back in profit. So five bucks and almost 11 bucks in profit. I like that. This is a Maurice's sweater. It's just a hooded woman's sweater and it's a size medium. I sold it for $11.99 with free shipping and I paid $2 for it for a 50% off tag at Goodwill. It is going to push the top end of first class. It weighs between 15 and 16 ounces. So it's a lighter sweater. It can still go first class, but it is gonna push it. So it's gonna cost me about $3.60, $3.65 to ship it. So after my product cost shipping and fees, I made a profit of $4.61 on an $11.99 purchase and that is a little over double my money in profit. Then I have one more thing. This R2D2 bath towel. It's a hooded bath towel. I'm trying to see here. Let's see, that's what it looks like. It's for a child around, you know, three to six, seven years old. But I got these for um, $5 each at Walmart on clearance. And I have ended up picking up like six of them. And see, the clearance sticker is still on there, but I'm going to pull it off. Um, so 
I sold it for $16.99 and then I'm just going to put it in my large poly mailer and it's going to cost $3.40 to ship it. It's like 11 ounces I think it was when I weighed it so $3.40 to ship it and $5 product cost so after all the shipping fees and everything my total profit is $6.27 on the $16.99 purchase which is just a little over double my money back but the reason why I find that it's worth it to spend $5 to make $6 on this item in particular, usually if I only double my money with such a small margin, it's like maybe two or three bucks. Usually I don't expect to do that with a $5 purchase. But the reason why I did it was because I bought like six of these. So I can just list it once and just let them roll until they all sell out. So it's going to be, you know, $6 every time one sells. Six bucks, six bucks, six bucks. My work is already done. It's already listed. They're already paid for. So I'm just going to wait for the profits to roll in. So, you know, I know that people say that clearance at Walmart is getting tough, and it is, but you can still find deals. You know, I found this lip oil for a dollar each at Walmart and turned two dollars into six dollars in profit. This one, there was multiple ones I turned five dollars into six dollars in profit and I'm gonna do it multiple times over. You know, definitely make sure that you are checking the Walmart clearance section. So, all right, that is everything that I sold that's worth mentioning in the last day or so. Um, hopefully I have another good sales day today. Um, sales are going back up, so here's to hoping. Good morning, everybody. Okay, so it's Friday morning, November 18th. I'm hoping to get this video of all of my sales for the week up for you guys soon, but I had a really rough night. I have a very, very sick kid. I haven't been feeling very good, so you'll have to forgive me if my videos have been slacking the last couple of days. But I did um, have some more sales over the last day or so, and I wanted to point out, and you know, I've been really impressed with the all of the retail arbitrage stuff that I've sold this week. I've sold so much more retail than I have clothing items. And so um, I'm really glad that that happened because now I can show you guys all of the retail arbitrage that has sold, you know, how much I paid for it versus how much somebody bought them for, all of the fees and everything, and how much my profit actually was. Because there have been some people making comments on my retail arbitrage video that they don't really believe that I'm making any money when all is said and done. But I am, and I have screenshots to prove it. So, okay, well, first things first, let's start with the retail arbitrage stuff. Okay, so, the first thing, I actually sold these just this morning, like really, really early this morning. Four bottles, woo, four bottles of that Old Spice shampoo. You might recognize this from the retail arbitrage video I did. I know, I see you. Um, four bottles of the Old Spice, and it is the two-in-one men's shampoo and conditioner, and it's Fiji, that's a really popular scent, is Fiji, and I bought four bottles for five dollars so a dollar twenty five a bottle and I sold them for for eighteen dollars and seventy nine cents with free shipping and it is priority they are going to go into a padded flat rate envelope and again all I do with these is I just wrap them individually in a clear bag I tape up the top really good and um, extra bubble wrap and if I can squeeze it in, I might put a couple of small sheets of cardboard in there just for some protection against more squishing. Um, but anyway, four bottles for $18.79, paid $5 after shipping and fees. My total profit is $5.34, which is double my money back, which is not bad considering the fact that I had multiple bottles and I was able to just do the listing and let it roll. Hold on guys, sorry. Oh, so not looking forward to winter. Okay. Sickness, man. Hashtag mom life. Okay, the next thing was three bottles of Aussie Kids 3-in-1. 
It is Surf and Strawberry, and it's a three-in-one, which means it's a shampoo, conditioner, and a body wash. Um, again, Aussie. Like I said, Aussie is a really awesome brand, right? So, three bottles. I actually paid only a dollar per bottle. I guess a coupon lady got them for free, and she was just trying to get rid of them because I guess, I don't know, she didn't like the smell or something. I don't know. I don't care. I paid only a dollar a bottle. I'm for that. So, I got $16.99 for these, sold them for $16.99 with free shipping. Again, they're gonna go in a padded flat rate envelope just like the Old Spice, so it's gonna cost $5.90 to ship. I'm gonna package them the exact same way. And so after fees, product costs, and shipping, my total profit on the $16.99 sale is $5.77, which is almost double my money in profit. So $3 into almost $6. So I'm happy with that. Okay, and then that was all the retail. And then here, the profit on this wasn't great, but I still wanted to share it. It is a men's micro, micro Pima Perry Ellis, sorry guys, Perry Ellis, long sleeve polo shirt. It's a really nice quality. Um, it only sold for $9.79. Um, I tried to get more out of it, but it was sitting for a while. I had a lot of watchers on it. Um, I had a lot of people asking questions about it. So I really thought it was going to go for more, but then when all was said and done, I went ahead and dropped the price. Um, just because I wanted to get rid of it. I was tired of listing it. I was tired of it because it's, it's been sitting around for like three months. So I finally just dropped it to $9.79 just to get it out of here. Um, and the whole reason why I'm telling you guys this is because I want you to know, you know, it's okay to drop the price. You don't have to say, there's so many people watching. There's so many people that are interested in it. I have to keep it at this high price. And you're taking up storage space. You're taking up your funds to go buy more merchandise. If you just dwell on the fact that you think you can get another five bucks for a shirt, sometimes it's okay to just let it go. So this weighs about 11 ounces. Well, it will with the package. So it's gonna cost about $3.40 to ship. So um, out of the $9.79 sale, oh, and I paid $2 for it for 50% off at Goodwill. Um, my total profit after fees, shipping, and product cost is $2.92, which is almost two and a half times my money back in profits. So even though I was forced to drop the price, I still got my initial investment back and a little over double that. So, you know, don't be afraid to move stuff. Don't be afraid to drop prices just because you think that maybe it's worth a little more than someone's willing to pay. Okay, this next one, it was really one of my best finds. I know, my best finds from Salvation Army, mainly because I don't get a lot of stuff at Salvation Army, but it's a woman's Abercrombie and Fitch size medium button front shirt. It's just a standard button up shirt, but they're really, really popular. Um, I paid only a dollar for it because I got it um, on sale at Salvation Army, so I paid only a buck. It's, good. it's really super light. It's only going to cost $2.60 to ship. And I sold it for $12.19, which means after my dollar product cost, my $2.60 shipping, and my fees, my total profit is $6.85. So almost seven times my money back. So... Even though Abercrombie is kind of a flooded market, it still sells and it still sells at the top end, especially for stuff like these button ups. These button ups are really popular still. Okay, one more thing to show you guys. I always talk about Gap and how it's a slow mover, but it always moves. Here's a prime example. Okay, here's Gap modern boot cut jeans. And it's a size 12 regular, so it's a really good size, okay? They, there's nothing special about them. They're just regular bootcut jeans. 
and they were listed for a while at my standard price of $14.99. They were listed for a couple of months and they weren't selling and so finally I'm like, you know, I just want to get rid of these and so I dropped them 50 cents. That's all I did. I went from $14.99 to $14.49 and they sold. So sometimes even just dropping 50 cents will trigger sales. It's the weirdest thing. So they're just going to go in a flat rate envelope for $5.60 and I paid two dollars for them at Goodwill 50% off and so after let's see total sale price was $14.49 after all fees shipping and product costs my total profit is four dollars and eighty six cents which is almost two and a half times my money back in profits so even though I cut the price down again I turned two dollars into almost five dollars in profit so I like profit so sales came up a little bit this week you know just a little bit better than last week that's for sure I am thankful for better so anyways also as I'm sure you noticed I'm still not on an HD camera you guys I got my HD camera the other day and I tested it out and it's crap it doesn't focus like it's supposed to. So I'm currently talking with the seller to try to return it because I need to just buy a new one. It's amazing the kind of trouble you have to go through just to get some focus going on. But anyways, all right, I'm going to nurse my child and try to get him back to health. And then here pretty soon, hopefully I'll get all these posted so you can see everything that's sold this week. But all right, thank you guys. Boo! I'm so funny. <laughs> Sorry. Couldn't help myself. So I opened up eBay to print some shipping labels and I got another sale. So I figured I'd... Ooh, I knew. I figured I'd show you. Um, just real quick. It's just a Tommy Hilfiger polo. It's a size large. It's really, really nice. It's not white. It's kind of a beigey cream. But it's got a really awesome logo on it. Um, I sold it for $10.59. I would have sold it for a little bit more, but there is like a little, I don't know if you guys can see it. There's like a black spot on it. I mean, it's not that huge of a deal. I probably would have gotten a buck or two more if it wasn't there. But um, I paid $2 for it, 50% uh, off at Goodwill. And then I sold it for $10.59. It's gonna cost $3.40 to ship it. So my total profit on the $10.59 sale is $3.63. So there's another last minute $3.63 profit for me. Yay! Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And please don't forget tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central Time, I am going to be live with Casey the Rockstar Flipper in Pittsburgh Mike over on Rockstar Flippers channel. I'll put the direct link to the event in the description below. And it's gonna be really, really fun. It's gonna be a live Q&A. You guys can shoot questions at me in the live chat and I'll answer them right on the spot. So thank you guys again. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, I hope you will. And have a great day, guys. Bye.